But how did you find out that you needed adult help to get out of the diapers? asked Michelle. That's an interesting story, replied Jen. After playing with the diapers for more than a month, I started to notice that the general store seemed to never run out of the old-style diapers. I figured they had to restock sooner or later, but I couldn't figure it out, the diapers were always there no matter how many I bought or how long I waited. Then I thought, it must not be the diapers that are magic, but then maybe the shelf or perhaps the store itself. I wanted to do some research on this theory. That's when I got the idea of disguising myself taking a part-time job at the general store, Jen said. That's brilliant, laughed Michelle. Thanks, answered Jen, I admit I was pretty impressed with the idea myself. Jen continued. I was very nervous about wearing one of the diapers out of the house and obviously used baggy clothes to hide it, I would time my movement carefully to conceal the noise too but standing behind a checkout counter doesn't require a lot of movement, which made things easy. She said. As someone from the next town over, the store owner didn't think to question it, I mean seriously, thinking back to any job you ever had when younger, did any of your employers ever actually meet your parents? Jen asked. Michelle sipped her coffee and thought on this, come to think of it, Jen was right. Michelle couldn't think of one job she had before college during which her parents and employer had ever met. I started to realize that little details like this would allow my disguise to work. The only hard part was getting ID for my new employer. But up here in Maine it wasn't as hard as I thought. I used my art skills to modify the date on my birth certificate, which allowed me to get a Maine driver's license. Jen said. 